Hi and welcome back to the Foodie Files. Today I'm showing you guys how I made this Nashville hot chicken burger. So so good, so amazing. So I do hope that you guys enjoy this video. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare a pickled coleslaw and to do that I'm going to first start by chopping some celery. I like to um, add in some celery in my coleslaw. Some people don't like the taste of celery. Um, so if you don't like the taste of celery, you can leave it out. Then to make my pickling liquid, I'm going to mix in some red wine vinegar, some salt and some sugar. Mix all of that together. Don't worry if the sugar doesn't dissolve immediately, it will dissolve over time. Then mix in with some red and white cabbage as well as the celery and leave it in the fridge. And then I'm also going to slice some dill pickles. Um, and I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to use all of these ingredients later on when we assemble our burger. Then to prepare my chicken, I'm first going to pound some chicken breasts. Um, I'm just layering them between some cling film and then you just take a mallet and you just pound away at the chicken breasts um, to make sure that you flatten them out and this will also help to tenderize the meat. And then you're going to make your brining liquid by combining some buttermilk, salt, pepper, smoked paprika, cayenne pepper, and some sriracha hot sauce. Or you can use any hot sauce of your choice, but I like sriracha, so this is what I'm using. Then mix all of that together, and then place your chicken in that buttermilk. Make sure your chicken is well coated in that buttermilk mixture and then you're going to set that aside. Don't place this in the fridge because you want your breasts to be at room temperature when you fry them so that you don't reduce the temperature of the oil. And then we're going to make our dredging mixture by combining some flour, some cornstarch, some Cajun spice, smoked paprika, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and you're going to just sift that all in into a bowl and then you're going to mix in some salt and some black pepper and then mix very well. Make sure that it's well combined. And that is our dredging mixture. Now we are ready to make our chicken. Then you're going to just make sure that that chicken that's been coated in buttermilk, you're going to take it and you're going to dip it in your dredging mixture. So for this recipe, we're going to dredge twice. So the first time you're going to dredge it in your flour mixture and then you're going to dip it back into your buttermilk mixture and then back again into your flour mixture. This is going to make sure that we create that nice crispy coating on the chicken. And then you are going to prepare the hot sauce that we're going to use to coat the chicken later. So you're just going to combine all these spices together and then mix it well and set it aside. Then we're going to move over to the stove to fry our chicken. Do make sure that your oil is super hot so that your chicken crisps, crisps up nicely um, and that it doesn't absorb all that oil. Um, and then once you're done with your chicken, you're going to take some of that hot oil um, from your pan and you're going to mix it in with that hot sauce spice mixture that we just made and create this beautiful hot sauce. And then you want to make sure that you coat your chicken with this hot sauce while the chicken is hot and while the hot sauce is still hot. Otherwise, it's going to make your chicken soggy, but you, you want our chicken to be nice and crispy. Then you're going to prepare your mayo. I'm making a Cajun mayo here. So I'm just going to mix in some paprika, some smoked paprika and some Cajun spice, as well as some mayonnaise and a little bit of lemon juice and mix all of that together. And that is basically everything all done. Now it is time to assemble our amazing burger. So to assemble the burger, you're first going to toast um, a burger bun um, on a pan and then you're just going to spread some of that Cajun mayo that we prepared on the bottom bun, the bottom half of the bun and then you're going to follow that up with the chicken 
look at that chicken oh so good and then some pickles on top of the chicken this is a really simple burger but the flavors are just incredible then you're going to take that pickled coleslaw that we just made earlier and you're going to squeeze out some of that liquid and layer that on top of your pickles and then add some more mayo on the top half of the bun and we are done. This burger is simple but so incredible. The flavors just all come together to create a burst of flavor in your mouth. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you try this recipe and as usual please don't forget to like, to comment and to subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Cheers guys.